Hello YouTube, welcome back to another video from WTFRC Cars and it's been a while coming this but we have the first official update for the Flysky Noble Pro and this is going to be slightly different from the MB4 update videos because you have to get the specific version for your transmitter. So I'm going to bring you in for a close up look, I'm going to have to take you through the menu show you where you find the part that tells you which version you actually have so depending whether you bought the official uk one or the us version and um, there's two different versions of software available and there's two different versions for each one so you're going to have the eu version and it's going to be the standard and the fcc so just same as the mb4 the standard is just standard power setup and longer battery life and then you've got the FCC, which is slightly higher transmission power, but slightly shorter battery life. So, let's bring you in for a close-up look, and I'll take you through menu and show you uh, where you need to go, so you know which one you're upgrading to. Right, so first thing we're going to need to do is power up our Noble Pro. Then you're going to want to press the uh, menu setting. Then we want to go into system setting. You're going to scroll all the way down to the bottom. You're going to press about. And then at the top here, it'll tell you whether you're on standard or FCC. It'll tell you the firmware version. So this is 101, updated 10th of November 21. And it'll tell you right at the very top whether you've got the EU version or the EN, English version. Also tells you your RF library and your URD number, which is your... Um, identification number for your actual radio so once you've got that we now need to go on the uh, pc um and show you which version to download and where you download it from right so let's crack on with this what you're going to want to do is make your way over to flysky's website so this is flysky-cn.com then you can either click on these as they scroll through or you can just go flagship and then noble pro then you're going to want to scroll down to downloads and upgrades we're going to click on this one then you're going to want to make your way down to the firmware section now this is where you're going to have to look and see whether you have the en version or whether you have the eu version and as you can see we've got a bunch of firmwares here and they're all dated 31st at 10th so we have FCC firmware for EU version so that's the higher powered version but shorter battery life we have the FCC version for the EN English version so I believe that's the version you get in the United States then we have the standard software EU version and the standard software English version so we have the eu version um, if you have the en version the process is going to be the same but you're going to download the english one so you find the version that matches what software you have or want and then you click on the download link now what i like to do just to keep everything in the same place i've got an assistant v3 folder and then I'm just going to set up new folder for Noble Pro and then as you see it's got the uh, 102 firmware so we're going to go in there and save it purely because then I know exactly where it is then we're going to want to come off here you're going to want to open your assistant v3 folder and then you've got your firmware update now before we run this we're going to want to back up as model memories no matter which version you've got and for that we're going to use flysky assistant v3 and i believe the latest version is v304 i do have videos on how to set that up and how to download it and install it so once you've got assistant v3 and we've got that downloaded you have in your assistant v3 folder you have your noble pro folder created so 
we're going to want to export our memories so you're going to want to plug the USB cable into your PC into your Noble Pro and then turn it on and it'll appear here so you'll see device online if I quickly disconnect it should see it disappear in a second so there we go USB disconnected please recheck so once you open assistant v3 this is what it's going to look like don't worry if it takes a while to load up it does and then you're simply going to want to plug a USB cable into your PC then you're going to want to connect it into your Noble Pro power it on and as soon as it's connected you will hear the um, Noble Pro sort of make a chime sound that'll let you know that it is actually detected then we're going to want to click on this so we go into it it's showing that your Noble Pro is detected and again you can make sure that the EU or EN version matches you've got your firmware version and the RF module so we're going to want to back up our model memories so you're going to click on export you're going to click load TX you'll see the screen change on your actual transmitter itself and it'll say do not operate it or control it while it's in data transmission mode now you can individually select the ones you want to back up or you can just click all then you want to click on export then we're going to browse back to his desktop we're going to go into our assistant v3 folder we're going to go into our noble pro folder where we've got as firmware and don't worry if you don't see anything it's just looking for extensions for sf uh, fsmdl which is the model memory so what you can do is you can give this a date so we're on 31st of the 10th 22 so you know what date you've backed it up and I'm backing them up all, all of them in all of them together so I'm going to put all then we can click save again you'll hear a chime from the Noble Pro and it'll start backing up now at this point it is important you use a decent quality USB cable don't use one of the really long ones or really cheap ones and if your controllers not being seen in assistant v3 there's a very good chance that you're just using a uh, charge cable and it's not a data cable with the USB data pins connected uh, this doesn't take very long and I believe they will be doing an update to assistant v3 because um, at the minute this latest version doesn't actually see any firmware updates for the uh, Pro it still says version 1.1 but you can switch between standard and FCC so it'll tell you they're exported you can click OK your Noble Pro will go back to its normal screen and if we click on update and then we go to firmware update and it'll warn you you need to back up first but if we click on update they've not actually got the new 102 firmwares so at this point we can close assistant v3 so we'll get that out way and then you want to open your assistant v3 folder that we've created on desktop then as noble Pro and then you want to click on the Noble Pro firmware update and you should get this screen now don't worry if it's not showing you your transmitter the chances are you've still got the uh, link open from assistant v3 so what you can do if you disconnect your Noble Pro from USB and then reconnect it then it will show that the controller is detected it's just because assistant v3 makes a data link to the controller so the update software may not see it until you disconnect and reconnect it you don't have to power cycle the transmitter but 
as long as it's detected and it's showing on version software version 101 hardware version 1.1 or whatever you have so on your noble pro once you've got it detected you're going to want to go into your gear into your system settings and then we're going to scroll all the way down to firmware update it's going to say it may cause data to be deleted and you'll have to restore it you click yes and then we'll see it changes to it detects the controller and it's ready for update and you'll see the screen saying do not operate during firmware update so we click update this is where it should go through and I'll do this in real time so you can see how long it takes and that like mine there at 7% it kind of stalled don't disconnect the controller while it's doing this or you will turn it into a paperweight you do get a st status update to say what part it's up to so now you can see it's actually right in the new firmware and I don't believe you can switch between the EU and EN firmwares they are tied to the actual uh, model of the device And I'm really hoping this one goes better than uh, my initial G7P update that I tried to do through Assistant B3. And this is one of the reasons I like to do this in real time because as you can see there's a few points where it like pauses and stops and I don't want people thinking oh it, it's it's crashed and then disconnecting the USB cable and then you've got a completely dead uh, Noble Pro so you do need to be patient with this and let it go through let it uh, follow its course until it gets to 100% it will tell you it's complete be interesting to see if we do lose all the settings in the model memory which is why I've said make sure you back up all your model memories in uh, Assistant V3 first you don't want to be uh, losing them especially if like me you've got some quite complicated stuff set up on the rock crawlers or you've got vehicles with four wheel steer and a lot of mixers set up it's far better to just have to rebind it to the receiver than it is to actually go through and then find out you've updated it and lost all your model memories good practice putting them back in at least you'll learn your menu systems but uh, nicer if we can avoid it all round it's also good practice to have your model memories backed up if the worst come to it and your controller got destroyed it's bad enough having to buy another controller but at least you've got all your model memory and settings backed up so you can restore them to your new one or if you've got multiple controllers it's nice to be able to swap models between them or if you've got more than 20 you can have as many model memories as you like backed up on PC and just swap the ones in and out one at a time or 20 at a time it's been a while since I've done the Noble uh, NB4 updates but it does seem to take longer than the NB4 to program but it is a different board and there is quite a bit more going on with the uh, Noble Pro So it looks like it's writ it and the controller has now restarted so if we go into a system menu on the controller and go to us about menu we can see it's updated to 102 but it looks like it's reset all as model memories so now we're going to have to close the updater we're going to have to go back to assistant v3 and this will take a while to connect
and once it's connected you will hear the chime from the uh, Noble Pro so again we want to click into it you'll see this time it's pulling a lot more data through from the new update so then we're going to go back to import we're going to load as memory file so on this one we're going to want to scroll back up to his desktop we're going to want to go into our assistant v3 folder we're going to want to go into the noble pro folder you're going to select the file then open this will show all his model memories so we're then going to want to import and then it's going to let you rearrange them and do whatever you want so for me um, I'm not going to be using all my RCs you can just click all and it'll just copy them back to the one you want so for me I'm going to want to add that one back and then let's have a look what else we want I'm then going to want that one. So this way you get to decide whereabouts you want them. And then once you've got them in an order that you're happy with so we've got them all how we want you can press ok you'll hear a chime from your transmitter and it'll start copying your data back for you you do have all the rest of them backed up so at any point you can swap them to and from the transmitter and if you make any changes to them you can go to export load model memories select the ones you want and back them up and as I say you can back it up individually or you can back it up all together once you've got it all set up we can go back to our transmitter and you can have a look in your model memories and you can make sure that everything set back up so we've got everything we've got it all in the order we like you can flick between them and then you just need to check that the rest of the settings are how you like them so you can set your backlight and your LED status so you can go through set them all however you like I tend to have the uh, backlight set higher and I have it set to always on but yeah basically you can go through make sure all your models are back where they should be and then the only thing you need to do is rebind them all your button bindings and everything should all be back to how they, how they was but it looks like at least on the TRX4 it's lost the uh, namings of the channels so we'll have to go back through and set them back up but hopefully it saved all those endpoints at least so uh, yeah, looks like all the endpoints and everything are set. You just have to rename your actual devices from what you wanted them. Be interesting to uh, see what they've actually changed in uh, in this firmware. But you just need to rebind your transmitter, 
and go through renaming the uh, various different channels that you've got so it displays correctly on the screen and let's wrap this one up right so there you have it that is the process on backing the memories up using assistant v3 and how to update your transmitter and how to put your memories back on once you've done this you will have to rebind your receivers to the model memories but it only takes seconds to do and i will do videos on updating each one of the receivers um, there is a change log available what tells you exactly what's changed in this um, some of the settings are for the INL 4 GYB, so for the uh, stability control settings. And I will do a separate video on that and how to update that receiver. Um, and there is some differences in how this can, the Pro can work with the stability control receivers, so I'll have to cover that in another one. I will put a link to changelog in the video description. I'll put a link to Flyscar's site and where you can download the firmware as well. But thanks again for watching WTFRC Cars. If you like this kind of content, don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit the notification bell, share to friends and family. And I'll catch you guys again in the next one.